Hi, it's Clarice. I'm going to make a flatbread pizza. It's a vegetable flatbread, so I have leeks, peeled carrot, corn only because I just had this leftover, a red pepper and a green pepper, and the last of the spinach. I've also peeled a potato. So what I'm going to do is cut up the leeks, the peppers, the potato and carrot. The potato, when I grate it, I'm going to squeeze it. After I grate it, wring all the water out. I'm going to grate up the carrot. So that's my preparation for the vegetables. So I'm going to start by white ends. I've chopped off the ends already, like the root part. Small slices. And I'm going to cut up the two leeks. Now I've got the two peppers. So I have half of the green here. And I'm just going to use half of the red. And all I'm going to do is just dice them up. Why am I throwing that in my leeks? I meant to put it in my garbage. So I'm just going to slice and dice up the peppers. With the corn, I'm just going to slice off the kernels. I have a, a grater and I'm going to grate up the potato and the carrot. And like I said, when you're done grating up the potato, take it like so in your hands Squish out the water. So get out as much water as you can. So I'm grating up one potato and one carrot. There's not much water in carrots, so you don't have to do that for carrots. My last item is the spinach. So and I'm just going to chop that up. make it into smaller bits. It's not like it's going to be super small. But that's it for the vegetables. So this is it here. So I've got potato, carrots, leeks, peppers, spinach. So now I'm just going to do up the binding agent for it. Now I'm going to do the wet ingredients. So four eggs, so beat up the eggs good. To that I'm going to add four tablespoons of flour, a teaspoon of oregano, a heaping teaspoon garlic salt, and a couple of heaping teaspoons of Parmesan cheese. olive oil, 
four tablespoons. And a couple of tablespoons of pizza sauce. So I'm just going to mix that all up. Now I've got this all, this egg concoction all mixed up here. So I'm going to add it to the vegetables. And then just mix, mix and mix until everything is coated. So I've lined a cookie sheet. My vegetables are all mixed up. So I'm putting them, dumping them out onto the cookie sheet. I'm just going to spread them all out and then press them down. Now once that's all done, just getting the duck off my hands, I'm going to put a little bit more pizza sauce, maybe mm, a couple more tablespoons. I don't want it exactly like a pizza. I just want that flavor, but I, so I'm, I'm not using as much sauce as you normally would on a pizza. And because I'm making this to share with my grandson, who is for the most part vegan, I have cooked some uh, of that ground meat. Well, it's not ground meat that brown vegetable stuff and I'm going to spread that out over half the pizza maybe put a little bit more parmesan and just sprinkle that on now this is going to go into the oven, 350 oven, for half an hour. So I've taken the pizza out of the oven, well, flatbread, vegetable flatbread. It's been cooking half an hour. So I'm going to put a cheese mix on it. This is a blend of mozzarella and uh, cheddar. I'm going to use mm, half the bag, I guess. I also have some goat cheese. This is a uh, urban garlic. So I'm just going to put a bit of goat cheese on it as well. I like goat cheese. I just use half a small package. All of these quantities with the cheeses, spices, etc. It's totally a uh, personal choice. Now I had two dill pickles left over that I chopped up. 
and I'm going to put the dough pickles on. Now this is going to go back into the oven for another 30 minutes. So here is the vegetable flat bread pizza out of the oven. I let it cool for a couple minutes. Now I will slice it up with my new pizza cutter. Mason and I will have our dinner. So I hope you try it.